debilitating is is the is the word physically and and, and emotionally. Uh, I, I'm self-employed. I'm an attorney. I don't do heavy lifting. However, you know, just getting up and going to court or going to the office, uh, I could not do any exercise. I, as my uh, wife would no doubt tell you, I was not a very pleasant person to be around because I was in pain. It was just debilitating. I, I remember distinctly sitting in court and just like this, you know, and nothing would make the pain go away, and it just got worse, and it got, all my symptoms got worse fairly quickly, and that was very scary. I was, uh, I was rather concerned. I was very worried about him when he first came back to me last year, and he came back to me uh, with a set of symptoms uh, and physical findings that were essentially indicating that his spinal cord was going downhill from the standpoint of function. I had innumerable questions to the point where I had actually researched, I guess as most folks do now with uh, Dr. Google and what have you online, and basically all that did was frighten me until I actually came in and, and, and talked to Dr. Palumbo, and he explained of what I had. Some people have a big spinal canal and the spinal cord has lots of space on the inside, lots of reserve space, if you will. Some people have a very small canal where there's very little space around the spinal cord. Those people, and Ken is one of them, you don't have a lot of room to give away, and so a small herniation or a small amount of bone spur formation related to arthritis can become a critical problem very quickly or very easily. Um, and sometimes that happens at one level of the spine or in uh, Ken's case, that happened at multiple levels of the spine. After he answered all my questions and explained the various advantages and disadvantages, Dr. Palumbo explained uh, the laminoplasty, how it works and, and what it, it hopes to accomplish and the relative lack of trauma compared to the other procedures. And I went with his recommendation and I'm glad I did. By expanding the uh, diameter or the dimensions of the spinal canal, you thereby take the pressure off the spinal cord. The alternatives to laminoplasty are tried and true procedures, but for multiple level uh, spinal stenosis, we often think about doing operations in the back that consist of taking the pressure off the nerves, plus doing what's called a fusion operation using rods and screws and bone graft. Uh, but as you can imagine, that's a bigger procedure. Uh, and it's a procedure that's associated with more downsides, if you will, for the patient. Life is great now. I, I'm telling you, I, I have zero pain. I have zero symptoms. I do everything that I could not do last summer. Um, I, I remember just taking my bike out for a ride telling my wife, I, I couldn't do this last June, I couldn't do this last July. And, and that's high, high motivation. I'm, I'm very grateful when I wake up every single day to be able to go out and, and live my life, to work uh, uh, and, and to uh, exercise. I, I got married uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, I, things are going very, very, very good for me. From Ken's standpoint, I knew him to be someone who recovers well uh, from surgery. He's a resilient man, a motivated man, and a very physically fit and active individual. Uh, so I had very uh, high level of optimism from the start that he would do well with this. I want to thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, for giving me my life back, for restoring my health and uh, well-being. Had I not had the procedure and had so much confidence and, and trust and faith in you, I would not be where I am today. And uh, I'm eternally grateful for that. Thank you to Dr. Mark Palumbo for giving me my life back. <laughs>